Janelle is working on getting her uh, blessing bags together. Yes, and yeah. if any of you don't know, these are for the nursing home. And we have uh, all those bags there. I think we have around 75 sponsored all together. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. I thought I had all my supplies because they had come in on Tuesday, except they didn't, um, I, when I went through everything, not everything came. So I'm filling what I can, the bags. And then when the rest of the stuff, I'll just put it in. Um, they did have to cancel the order for the fuzzy socks. So I don't know if I'm going to, um, where I'm going to get those. So far, so good. I, you know, still have lots more bags to fill. This is just, it's unbelievable to me, the generosity of people. And um, I really, really am blessed to be part of this and to be able to share the um, Christmas spirit with so many residents in the nursing home. Can you show us what's in a bag? Um, I can. So we have lotion, word search, fuzzy lap blankets. Um, some of the bags will have little scented potpourri items. Not every bag is going to be identical. They pretty much have the same concept, but some items, because different people provided different items, they're going to have different things. Um, this one has some chocolate, and this one has fuzzy socks. It's still, I haven't put the, um, the lip balm in there. I also have some pens to put in there and notebooks. So these are going to be pretty full bags. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to see the people's faces. I, I mean, I'm sure you'll probably get some people that'll be expressionless. But I think for the most part, they're going to be very happy. And we're going to have the kids help deliver this. So I think that'll really make their day a little bit brighter. Good morning. It is Friday and it is also the 1st of December. Someone asked me about my list yesterday, so I'll just show you what's on it. Basically, it's everything that we own. Uh, I want to do it once a month at least. Go through and clean it up. So uh, we just put a number next to it. The number next to it is the date of the month and on that date we just do whatever is on the list. We've tried a lot of other systems and nothing really seems to work that we stick with. So this one we've stuck with it for uh, what a month and a half so far and it seems to be working fairly well. If we miss a day that's okay because we'll catch it the next month. That way we make sure that everything has gone through once a month and if it's a project, a really big project, like the basement's pretty bad right now, uh, we don't have to do the whole thing but work on it for like an hour or something like that and eventually everything will be in order. And I think it's worked pretty well. Overall the house is in better shape than it was uh, recently. Lily and Quickly outgrew our nine months clothes so Janelle is going through those and Look at this, we have a big pile of get rid of stuff right there. So I'm going to put that stuff in bags and we'll take it to the uh, donation bin next time we get that way. I'm very impressed at myself for being able to get rid of all that. I don't think it's worth the time in storing it um, because you can pick up, most baby clothes you can pick up for 50 cents, a dollar a piece, if I need something ever again. So thus I'm going to bless someone else with that. We are keeping like one box, well, maybe two boxes of each size. Yeah, I think this one actually can get. Okay, this got shrunk. Look at that. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure what's in the laundry, so I'm sort of waiting for the laundry to get done, and then uh, we'll sort out any of those sizes that need to go in these boxes. She pretty much skipped 12 months. Just went from six to nine to 18. Oh, well, I just noticed something. Not to interrupt, but some OCD people are going to be upset about oh, that right there, yes. Well, that upsets me too. I had a brilliant idea of going to the library, returning some books I needed to go back, and look for some socks for my blessing bags. And then I looked and found out that the library is closed. So we're still going to go do the socks for the blessings bag. And we might go to a different library right, that's not that closed. Is open until 8, so we'll see how we're doing on time. But we're really... I've, my order for socks, I think I mentioned this, my order for socks, they got canceled because they didn't have enough stock. So now I'm kind of like, where are the, where can I get socks? So let's go. Let's go. We're headed into Boscov's and we'll see if they have the socks. The kids all love Boscov's for only one reason. Let's not go the regular way. Let's go the back No, we are going up the up. Why? <laughs> what do you think, girls? <laughs> And Grace, 
Is this your first escalator ride? <laughs> is this Grace's first escalator ride? I think it is. Are you having fun, Grace? Yes. Okay, let's see if they can dismount properly. There we go. Oh, good job. Take a step, Grace. We're looking for Mommy. She went in before we did. Oh, here we're back on the escalator going down. And we can't find her anywhere. She's probably hiding from us. No, not, not really. What do you think? Found her. She's over there somewhere. I don't know where exactly. Oh, we have to dismount. Over there. We have to head back up so we can look, look for Mommy. <laughs> we found her. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh. How did you even get over there? There's mommy right over there. We found her. That was not very easy. So did you I find anything? Go, I had to go up the stairs, and then I could get an overview of this, of the store, and I could find you. That's but what then I said. I bet they're going to come up the elevator. So then I started going <laughs> back down, and that's when I saw you come in. <laughs> Daddy. So I got to ride the elevator three times so <laughs> It would far. have been funny if we would have Daddy. passed each other again going right. down. Um, so I'm going to see if they have any of the lap blankets. Daddy. I found the socks. They're a three-pack for $1.99. Wow. Oh, that was That's fabulous. good. Daddy. Daddy, I'll what? tell you what would be cool. You know what you do? You jump from one escalator to another. Mm, that'd be a little dangerous. Someone saw that I was buying a lot of socks and wanted to know what I was doing with them, and she gave me $20. <laughs> wow. For the blessing bags. Wow. She goes, buy the socks with these. That's amazing. How much do you spend on socks? It was forty ninety nine. Wow, that's pretty cheap. For sixty pairs of socks. Did you pay yes. for it? Sixty, only sixty. I got sixty because I already have about fourteen or maybe more. The activate so fun. You gotta go down again. Mm -hmm. But we won't stay up here forever, so I guess we're gonna go down. We get some. The kids are gonna get those laser things that you shine on your house, but I don't think we need those. Can we get some grandma and grandpa? No. Yeah. Let's get some chicken pox. And the kids call those chicken pox because it chicken makes it look pox. like the house has chicken pox. And now Janelle's looking for some lap blankets. And that, would that finish up our bags Dad, if we found those? this no, one. We're still missing the lotion, so come this in. one. This one is really Is that fun. smooth? Yeah. And I like snowflakes. I like this one. This one's pretty. Oh. Uh, Janelle found two lap blankets. I don't know how much they are. Let's see. What does it say? $4.99. Four ninety nine for a two pack? Two. So that's two fifty a no, it's blank. Sale price. Yeah, sale price four ninety nine. So two fifty each. Two fifty each. That's good. What do you think? That's good. Should we get a couple? How many do you need? Well we're short. We're pretty short. <laughs> okay, we're getting them all. <laughs> uh, Twenty four so more blankets. Okay. Would you like to hold one, Grace? Uh, John, let's someone relieve John. I will take one. No, you got. You gotta be careful how you take it. They're gonna all fall. Can I please have one? Can I please have one? Sure. Are you ready? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Lydia. Okay. Lydia, would you like another one? Let us take it from the middle. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys. Okay, it's like uh, cigar box juggling. <laughs> Okay, one more trip down the escalator. Can I put this on the escalator? Sure. Just keep holding on to it. Next time when we go here, can we can we uh, go up on the escalator and yeah. go a lot of times? Maybe. Did you have fun, kiddos? Yes. 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 I love the exercises. Yes. Next time. Next time. I want to, uh, my will will try Next to find her. Day. And then we will keep going up and down, up and down. Uh, up and I just down. really like the exercises. And spread it. And up and down. Fabulous. And now Janelle has and to then, call her mom and tell her about her great deals. And then they had blankets that were... What were they? Two, a two-pack for four ninety-nine. Two-pack for four ninety-nine. We had to go to the library, and they're closed, so we're dropping off the book. And they have a pull-up um, book drop, and we have so many books 
we actually had to get out of the vehicle and Mary wanted to come and help and actually I think we've created a line behind us I think someone else is waiting for us oh dear all right we gotta go there's somebody else come waiting for us fun, fun. that was fun I know our library hey, doesn't have that come on. Get moving here. all right we're doing what the kids love to do every year is go to this one development and we get to check out all the pretty Lord, lights. And I this year, this year we're counting chicken pox. And do they know what chicken pox is? Well, I explained it at the okay. Boscoff's. Do you see all those little green dots all over the house? We call those chicken pox. They're the and LED the lights that are sh shown onto the house, so they're called chicken pox. And sometimes they move, sometimes they stay. Uh, we saw reindeer chicken pox earlier. Yeah. So it's, that's reindeer pox. Yes. Yep. It's reindeer pox. It's reindeer pox. What a big Santa. Oh, big Santa. Woo! I always love how you look down the road and all these lights. Now the next question is, and answer this in the, um, if you've watched the video this far, answer, give us your answer in the comments below. So do you like white lights or colors? And do you like the lights to be flashing or steady? Or do you like oh, chicken pox? Oh, and if you want another element to discussion here, do you, want no do you like pox? traditional or LED? <laughs> and if you like chicken pox? Who no knew there pox. were so many choices to There's Christmas lights? Pox. You know what's gone out of style art? What? Icicle lights. Yes, we've seen I have few, not too many. seen well, a lot of. One. Oh, those are cute. The little snowflakes in the tree. Those are cute. There yes, the icicle lights were really popular for a long time. But I think they were such a hassle to hang up and then... And I take that back. There's some icicle lights right there. It's actually 10.20 at night. Um, this afternoon I worked on cooking the, the last package of chicken breast. And you can see that I already chopped it up and shredded it here. Peter is working on getting hmm. the sauce for me. Yeah. And then um, before I cook the chicken over here, I cooked a whole bunch of my spaghetti squash. So this is a Trim Healthy Mama spaghetti squash and chicken casserole. Um, the recipe says it's very good frozen. So we're gonna try it. The boys are gonna help make the cream sauce while I am doing this part. And I didn't wanna let this set all night because then I'd have to face it in the morning. So I'm just doing, I'm gonna do it tonight really quickly, throw it directly into the freezer bags, and then we'll have two more freezer meals done. John is working on the sauce. So is Peter. Yeah, Peter is over there getting some stuff. Two. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. There you go. Okay, we need three teaspoons of salt added to that. Okay. And John is cooking in camo. That's just a sweater. <laughs> The spaghetti squash skins go to the chickens, and we'll give that to them tomorrow. <laughs> Such fine. <laughs> you just flop it in. <laughs> kind of like they do in the army, right? Just say, flop it under the plate. Food. Here's your rations. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm adding some chicken broth to this. She said that with the recipe, you have to adjust it depending on how much spaghetti squash you have. So for her, it was four cups. I'm going to start out with two and see how it comes out. And then I might add more. We'll see. But will this do? Will it evaporate? Mm. No, no. It's just we'll, we'll cream it. It'll, It'll warm ready. up and I'll cream into a nice sauce. And then we will pour over the chicken stuff and freeze it just like that. Won't that be easy? Yep, this is easy. What we did is we're going to put some of the cheese in the sauce, but we also need some cheese for on top when we're going to cook it. So I put about a cup of cheese inside of a plastic baggie and then we'll just put that right inside the bag and it'll be all together as a freezer meal because I know my kids will <laughs> they'll eat all the yellow cheese before <laughs> we get around to cooking this. So there we go. We've got our two packages of cheese. We're going to put some more cheese in the cheese sauce and then we'll mix this all up and we'll call it good. I think, I think someone's eating cheese right now. I'm eating the stuff that's right here. Come on, get your hands out. <laughs> mm. And a little taste for the cup. Calls for two cups, and that's about two handfuls. At least my size handfuls. Okay, there you go. Mix that in, Pete. Okay. Thank you. 
Yum. Is that, isn't that I one cup? I still think this is going to be too much sauce for these two bags. So mm. I'm going to put a, doesn't it look like it's a little too much? Yes, it does. So I'm going to just measure this out with my ladle and then I'll mix it. And then mm. if it's too much, well, I'll just cook something with it. That looks pretty good. I don't think I need any more cheese sauce. I'm going to give this a taste. Have a little taste. It's really good. Really good, but I don't think it needs more cheese sauce. I think if it's a pasta, because pasta absorbs moisture, you'd want this like really, really saucy. But spaghetti squash is mostly water. I have a feeling this is gonna become really watery by the time I pull it out of the freezer. Can I so, have a little taste? Um, sure, get another spoon. Okay. Dad, you want a little taste? Uh, sure, I'll have fine. That's, Mom, a, that's the beauty about having older helpers cook in the middle of the night. They get very excited about trying the food that you cook. And you don't have a whole lot of people vying for attention. Would you like some, Mark? Sure. Okay, mm. Tell me what you think. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Art's verdict is he can eat it. <laughs> um, I like it. And Peter likes it. And John um, likes it. I'll just toss this right in here. With it. And then Art can put it down in the freezer for me. That's my And that's two more meals. But if it's just me eating it, or the kids eating it. Oh, we'll eat yeah. it. I'll eat, eat it. A lot more than that. There we go. We have a fair amount of cheese sauce left. And I think what I'm going to do, because I have a lot of spaghetti squashes, is I'm going to cook another two spaghetti squashes tomorrow. And I'll, I have some hamburger left. I think we'll just make it like a hamburger spaghetti squash bake. And we'll just make it that for dinner tomorrow night, which would take care of my dinner. I use up the cheese sauce, and I'd still have two meals for the freezer. Healthy mama spaghetti. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.